Look at all these movies I've never seen before. Wait, he couldn't shave his mustache? Generic intro in the Dr. Goose movie here, back with another nostalgic group video. Today we're doing Justice League, where I'm probably not going to recognize a lot of people in this because I've seen like three or four DC movies in my entire life. But apparently there's going to be a lot of other, uh, I guess, reviewers that are in this video as well. It's like the Justice League of YouTube movie reviewers or something like that. I'm not really sure. This was requested in the comment section of last week's video, which was Superman Returns. You can check out my reaction to that video. I'll leave it right up there. Also, link down below in the description. Also, uh, in a Nostalgia Critic playlist on my channel if you want to go through all of them going in chronological order. Next week will probably be the Snyder Cut, which I believe is like a really long movie or something like that uh, that came out fairly recently. And that video was, came out for one month ago. This video is four years old, so it's probably going to have a charity shout-out at the end of this video. The last two weeks of videos have had charity shout-outs in them, so how that works is the first, however that video makes in the first day, whatever ad revenue the video makes in the first day, will go to the charity that's in the charity shout-out. So, uh, going back to the first one, which was, I want to say it was Supergirl. That video made a whopping to five dollars and 57 cents in the first day and then last week video made a whopping five dollars and nine cents in the last day so the five dollars 57 cents went to, i hate that uh went to allies for in hope and then this one went to uh the racial justice one for last week so I wouldn't be able to do it if it wasn't for patrons, and I just made a mistake of swiping out of the video that I got to make live at 4.30. So that's going to make things even more difficult for me in this video that I'm already rushed and my stream's already going to be late. But shout out to the patrons because I wouldn't be able to donate to the charity shoutouts if it was not for them. It really would not be possible because you see how much the videos make, and these are some of my better performing videos. So a shout out to the patrons. It wouldn't be possible. This video is probably going to also have a charity shoutout, so whatever this video makes in the first day will go to that charity as well. And then we'll have the Snyder Cut next week, and patrons get all of them a day early. So let's go ahead jump at this video and thank you so much for clicking on this video all right long video this episode brought my stream's gonna be late fresh. delicious pre-measured and i made a mistake and simple <laughs> chef made recipes delivered to your doorstep every week. i gotta get this video ready to go live at 4 30 as it's 4 05 right now okay this video is probably gonna have a charity shout out at the end of it so this video makes the first day we'll go to that charity in case you skip the intro um i just did the last two weeks videos and those made five dollars in the first day <laughs> Oh, man. But yeah, shout out to the patrons. I actually had somebody stop by my Minecraft Monday stream. I streamed Minecraft on Mondays. And came by and subbed and said how cool it was that I did that. I'm like, yeah, it's just so everybody can just kind of like... Maybe you can't support a charity or anything like that, but you can watch my video. And watch my video the day it comes out supports charity, so... Hello, I'm a Nostalgia Critic guy. It doesn't Remember? even go on my taxes, so... <laughs> Nostalgia Critic, the Justice League is in danger. Uh, oh no! Their future is in great Geo Party. Please meet us at your studio Geo and bring YouTube to prove a connection to cinema. I can't believe such an original uh, super team movie that broke all sorts of box office records is in peril. Well, if they want YouTube to prove a connection to cinema, it's time to light the cinema signal. The cinema signal? What is that gonna be? Or I could just give him a call. Is that the copyright logo? Hey, you wanna get drunk and nitpick a movie? There immediately. Critic? Chris. I don't know who Chris is. Critic? Barrett. Nope. Hello. Jeremy. I must say, I was what? very brave of you to physically transition into talking text with a ding at the end. You act as if I had a choice. <laughs> Fantastic. Wait, is the that? Cinema oh, that's from um, CinemaSins. There's only one other YouTuber connected to cinema, or at least has cinema in his name, that needs Nob. to make the long journey. <laughs> Wait. Cinema snob. Want to do a review? Wait, are they or... in the same building? Oh, that was All easy. Right. Cinema sins and the cinema snob ready to save the Justice League. Wait a minute, aren't we forgetting about one other Wait, cinema are they... related YouTuber, Cinemassacre? Are those all <laughs> Cinema Sins guys? Don't remember? Cinemassacre died a Isn't long time ago. Did huh? he? Didn't seem very convincing. Ah, of course he did, Chris. Just ask him yourself. Oh yeah, I'm totally dead. <laughs> there you see. I don't know. I just have a feeling he's not really angry dead. video game nerd, Also, was it? is there something off about his upper lip? What are you talking about? No. My lip always looked this way. You're all stupid and I'm dead, so piss off. <laughs> yeah, convinced me. Yes. Now don't you come back and save us in our time of need. Dead people have a bad habit of doing that. Fucking weirdos. Is that... Does that all happen right. in Justice League? Is After that why they're so saying that? After so much time building this up. We only spent a few minutes. Is he always like this? Worse. Boys. Time to unite the Justice League. Ah, there they are now. Uh, oh. DC's biggest money makers. Wonder Woman. Really? Aquaman. Shazam. Shazam. Joker. 
So what I actually seen the did Jarker you summon movie. us to take on? Oh no, we didn't summon you. What? You didn't? No, we're doing fine. Better than fine. He's the one that summoned you. Hey guys, it's me, Cyborg. Uh-huh. From the Justice League. Teen Titans? I know that. Yeah, yeah. Go. Oh! <laughs> anyway, I need your guys' help saving the Justice League. But why? Well, they, yeah. they seem to be doing fine. A lot of DC characters are doing great right now. For them, sure, but if Justice League doesn't become popular again, I may never get another movie. Did Cyborg get a movie? I don't think this is gonna be a clip. I guess in yeah, some no, respect, not. I see what he's talking about. With the Marvel, look at Spider all these movies I've never seen before. The landscape of box office hits. DC was rushing to catch up on the potential gold mine that lay before them. They released superhero movies that were all connected, similar to what Marvel yeah. had started five years earlier. But where five Marvel years? briefly eased people into how their world worked with individual hero stories, DC threw rushed into making their own Avengers, posing as films. As some have pointed out, DC's cinematic lineup was the equivalent of going from Iron Man to Civil War to Guardians of the Galaxy mm. to Captain America to the Avengers. About as straightforward as a curvy metal ride in yeah. carnivals. On top of that, I've actually due seen to a family like, tragedy, all those movies. Zack Snyder all the had to leave as director and was replaced by Joss Whedon. And they're about as polar opposite as you can get. So the tone of the film seemed to juggle back and forth as well. Because uh. of this, Justice League underperformed at the box office, still making its money back, but not becoming the record breaker DC was hoping for. I've seen exactly. a, a good amount of and cinema since. It's been a while since I've seen tie into a continuing story, and they're making good. So you see, unless people see the value I, what? in the DC Cinematic Universe that connects, there could be no more Justice League, and thus, night. no more me. All right, listen, Jax. Kano! I mean, <laughs> Cyborg! What he said. I don't remember this movie being the greatest, but I remember it being better than DC's other stinkers. Yes, with the overflowing positivity we give in most of our videos, I'm sure we can find something of value here. <laughs> Let's get to it, then. Oh, he's just This text. is our review of the it's one have a big couch. only, for now, Justice League. Wait, are they gonna make another Justice League? I was promised booze. In the kitchen. Okay. Oh. Well, this movie had a smaller budget than starts? I thought. The studio was okay <laughs> when Whedon said he wanted to turn this into a found footage movie. So one of the biggest criticisms is that Henry Cavill was under contract not to shave his mustache when shooting Mission Impossible 6. Which means they had to digitally remove it when he came back to play Superman. But this movie Wait, he couldn't shave his mustache? Million dollars. I'm sure they made it look okay. Let's do some questions? Ah! Christ, did he brush his teeth with kryptonite toothpaste? Yeah, I didn't know Mouse Man was in this movie. Still waiting on his own film DC. Huh? What's the best thing about planet Earth? You can keep stealing from Marvel and no one will care. <laughs> By the way, Superman never does answer this question in the movie. Presumably his legal team interrupted before cutting. What's the best thing about planet Earth? You don't have to answer that question. Yeah. Please Not fit. Gotham City, or the set of holy musical Batman, where a criminal's robbing a... Pigeon trainer's house? Hey, they make coin, man. Do they? He stopped by the Cape Crusader, though. Why, what's the point of after? training pigeons? Did you do it? No, wait! 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 <laughs> We're finally gonna see what happened to Johnny Gobbs. Who? It turns out Batman was using this criminal's fear to lure out an alien menace known as the Parademons. For such a cool name, why do they look like the Bee Twins from The Tick? I just wanted to tempt your tummy with the taste of nuts and honey. <laughs> I'm sorry, why did it do that? But Batman is afraid there might be more, or probably rather is. the criminal is afraid there might be more. <laughs> yeah, things are cool between them now. What was that? A scout from space. Like an alien army? Alfred, are you seeing this? Alfred? You Bruce Wayne? <laughs> I thought you had a way in his jawline. <laughs> because they know he's dead, right? Superman. Do they? Does that leave us? Still able to rob shit? Hello, you're a criminal. The opening yeah, credits wait. show a world without Superman, which apparently means a lot more violence, a lot more slow mo. Are people just that song. afraid of Superman? Yeah, do they tripping off himself? He can do it again with these credits. Do they forget Batman oh, exists? We then see the Kingsman seizing the central. If anything board. has to be blurred, by the way, I uh bang. As Wonder Woman, YouTube chat writes this one. Decides now is a good time to come out of retirement. Yeah, not 9/11, World War II, or anything like that. Just this place being blown up. That's it. I'm sorry, and she's supposed to be blocking. But how does this tie into the plot? To remind you that Wonder Woman was a hit. 
Yeah, but I thought that... Mm. Oh. Were they actually hit movies? Who are you? You're too late. The countdown's already begun. Of course the code to disarm it is 3615 and damn lasso! Uh-huh. This you? I'm glad the people are safe, but poor birds. <laughs> the birds. We see wow. Batman approaching a village where Aquaman, played by Jason Momoa, is the dolphin racky said to constantly save the day. The dolphin racky? Dothraki. Don't count on a Batman. Did you hear that? That guy's Batman! Nah, I heard he looked like the guy from Twilight. Strong man as strong as I've never seen Twilight either. You hear a Superman? He died fighting next to me. I know, because I originally tried to kill him. It's a complicated story, but don't worry, it makes no sense. Huh. Yeah, shaved. Now no one will know that was me. One misses the days when one's biggest concerns were exploding wind-up penguins. Yeah, I also miss Bane. We next see the Bane Flash, or the penguin is but... Miller, visiting his father in prison. Hurry it up, will ya? Okay. Isn't that the Flash? What's about that? Oh, the... I get it. Yeah. Wait, what? What do you I mean? I get it. Here. Wait, I'm huh? You run in place oh, will you hurry up? Because he's the Flash. Who's not going anywhere, Dad? That's not the time. Fun. As you may have noticed, these character backstories are quickly rushed, so you aren't given much time to connect with them. Yeah, Marvel had a bad habit of giving most of the Avengers their own movies, so they didn't need to explain much when they met up. Ooh. True. Are but you, you also had to watch all the other Suicide ones. Suicide Squad out. doesn't make any appearance in this movie. No. One of that's actually a DC movie I've seen. See, the first that's one. what I'm talking about. Like, look at my intro. It's mostly just talking. There's no flashbacks. It's just me saying what happened to me rather than showing what happened to me. I can access everything. I lost your mother in that accident. The box stays hidden. I got a language in my head that I don't speak. That is a good point. I mean, what were your thoughts about Black Widow and Iron Man 2? She was in Iron Man 2? Exactly. But the more she interacts oh, with yeah, others, she was. the more she forms her character. People want to see her in her own movie now because she had unique scenes she with unique her interactions. Movie. Here we have Cyborg having a brooding talk in his apartment, a brooding talk on a rooftop, and I think a brooding talk against a green screen. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hey, Johnny, what's up? <laughs> I have a problem hi, with Mark. Lisa. She said that I hit her. <laughs> what? Why are we suddenly supposed to uh, be invested in that? Was that the room? See, that's Tommy what I'm Wiseau. talking about, man. You just gotta be your own thing. You don't need to have the connection with them, baby. Yeah, if I was gonna fight Ben Affleck's Batman, I'd be like a million years old. Hell, Batman's a vigilante and they sell toys of him in my universe. Let, Let it go. go. Let, Let it go. go. No! Let I believe what? in the sanctity of the Justice League and all of me getting my own, all of us uh, getting uh, our own movie. They already got theirs, though. Aren't they making a sequel to Joker? I haven't said anything in a while, so ding. <laughs> Meanwhile, if you click it, you had a counter in the corner. Um, Amazon Island. I already made that joke. I already don't care. The Amazons guard a powerful device called the Mother Box. That's Mother right. Box? Yeah, she married the GameCube and gave birth to the Game Boy. Huh. As something awakens it, causing great <laughs> distress. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Does it feel good to be out of there? Bob oh. basement Thanos appears, named Steppenwolf, voiced by Kieran Hines, who tries to steal the mother box for himself. At last, you call me home. That's the voice. Oh my god, Superman's upper lip has mutated and become the villain of this movie. No, oh, no, it's just an unwanted soul caliber character, even down to the weapon he uses. Oh, oh. Steppenwolf wins. I mean, it's I turn name. down a cameo in Game of Thrones for this. Uh huh. Ha! Take that, Marvel. We didn't wait for the end to get our shitty sky portal. We threw it in right in the first 30 minutes. Stephen Wolf grabs what was the cue from the Transformers movie? Signal Diana by firing a flaming arrow, burning down an ancient monumental building. You know a phone could work. Uh huh. Lois Lane, played by Amy Adams, yeah. talks about the death of Clark while a seemingly hilarious news story plays. My Howard is a good man, and these aliens are gonna f probe him. And I'll stick a. F Probe up your alien. Gee, why I are you saying this that? This was a Joss Whedon written scene. This janitor's wife had some strong words for the aliens. She says stole her man. Uh, <laughs> Seriously, we all know aliens are real. So if you see your husband, let us know. But swearing ladies, right? <laughs> who's your source? Um, the activist. Who's your guy? Well, I'll see if she'll take your call. <laughs> oh, so it's a she. 
<laughs> Next you'll be telling me they can leave the kitchens and fight crime. Oh, scandal! It's not a shame. Ah. Decoy. We apologize for this confusing lesson. We now return you to your superhero movie. Thankfully, Diana meets up with Bruce, as let's be honest, they're the closest thing to any chemistry of any kind in this movie. Do oh, they? No, I think Bruce and Alfred's romance will send hearts aflutter. I think there's an attack coming. It's already here. Diana tells us about stuff oh. and Wolf while showing us what clearly should have been the climax of this movie. As men, yeah, Amazon, wait, this Fish, isn't the climax? Wait. Nightmares fought him off from collecting three mother boxes oh, God, to rule the everything. All the tribes of men fought side by side. Even the gods themselves all acted as one. Now it's six people who look like dirty amusement park statues. Look, Mom, I'm next to Wonder Woman. Wow! Okay, so I'm not I entirely sure edit. why all these armies can't just get together again, but we do get everyone's favorite part about the movie, The Flash. That's right! Everybody who saw this movie could get behind The Flash. Oh yeah, not I do cyborg. remember him being pretty funny in this movie. Yeah, it's nice to get some comedy in these gloomy DC Did, films. Is this from Bruce about this. Credit? The or person who looks exactly Recruited like him? me, but who is definitely not me. I've actually seen this clip. Oh, I thought no, it was on no, no, from the TV show. Star, but I remember the rest of his stuff being pretty funny. My special skills include uh, like, what's Viola, your He's like, uh, I'm rich. web design, fluent in sign language, gorilla sign language. <laughs> that old gorilla sign language routine. It caused me to burn a tremendous amount of calories, so I am just a black hole of snacks. I am a snack hmm. hole. Were we just looking for anything to like about this movie? Oh, Probably. hey, it's gotta be a lot better than CW Flash. I love CW has, Flash. Anybody here seen that show? I have. And? We're in trouble. Okay. You don't get sure. it, man. Everybody was Wait, like, is, DC, you're too good. Is the show better? Like, no. I thought the show was well, good. Well, now we have some comedy for you. I thought you loved the show. Yeah, I guess because we saw a little humor in these movies, we thought it was okay, but... But now looking back, it's... Like brunch. What is brunch? Good. You wait in line for an hour for... Oh, oh shut, shut up, up Joss Whedon! Hey, lay off. That's our shawarma. I mean, something <laughs> totally original. Could I have a sip of that? Yeah. It's definitely empty. There's there's no liquid in there. Um, what if he had the wrong guy? <laughs> exactly. Would just have another dead kid. He'd have to mop up. It's that's not supposed to be the AMG oh, one. Six flash have killed this week. After watching what sure? clearly should have been the introduction of Aquaman. That's... Okay, you didn't have to throw him down. He goes back to his kingdom to try and stop Steppenwolf as well as continue to have no chemistry with Amber Heard. When my parents mm. fought in the wars, she took me in. What a saint. You dare speak of Queen Adlana that way. Oh, thank God, we're back to two people talking in left-right justified shots. We missed you in your three-minute absence. <laughs> three minutes? Steppenwolf gets the mother box and sets up camp in Russia. Finally, HBO tells us the truth about Chernobyl. Chernobyl. Yeah. Unsatisfied with his pictures of Spider-Man, J.K. Simmons as Gordon sees pictures of Batman aren't much better. As he summons him to save kidnap people like Gotham Harbor. Do you really think that... Oh, wow, they just... They really just vanish. Huh? Oh. That's rude. Hey, he's a vital part to these movies, man. A vital part. Listen to me now! Lois Lane's the key! Find How is she us. the key? Find us, Bruce! Yeah, I don't think we're following through with that anymore. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Wait! I need to tell you about brunch! What is that? Brunch is good. Love brunch. A vital part. Steppenwolf starts killing people until he's told where to find what he's looking for. How are these people gonna where know? Where is my mother box? <laughs> that still sounds so funny. As the Justice League turns into the they, they, they could think of a better League, name. The whole fight sequence for it. has the effects of a DC video game. Boy, you really feel the weight of movement in every scene, don't you? Sure, the weight of the hand moving a mouse and getting carpal tunnel is very felt here. Uh, can't wait for the hell divers here in uh, 38 minutes. I guess score. Thanks, so. Alfred. But I'll take it from here. Thanks, Cyborg. Did a thing. Uh, d do I know you? Did Brucey get another boy toy while I was out? Aquaman joins the fight as well. I mention this as an afterthought because the movie does too. And they fight <laughs> Steppenwolf off. However, Cyborg finds the final mother box, and they go the to the final. Cave. How many are there? Via 
animated technodrome elevator. Wow, it's like a cave. Like a bat cave. Yeah, yeah. Look, if you just imagine him less as a superhero and more as Jason from The Good Place, this really works a lot What better. is that? This is a person who looks exactly like me, but who is definitely not me. I mean, Jason? Who is Jason? I so don't. Is this a, a bad time to bring up my blood sugar? You got it, homie. How do you have good advice? See, that works. That works. Come on, buddy. Uh, Justice League. Hey, hey, we got you, man. We got you. We cost more than the Avengers, and we look better Wait, than really? the Avengers. I am so sorry about all this. Booyah! Booyah! Okay. That is certainly something. Yeah, I I guess I've seen the clip of Batman recruiting uh, the Flash on like what's up camera representing TikTok a population of people like who that. do not have a product Instagram i am about to share with you i want to talk about hello fresh what's that symbolic person in this hypothetical Where, situation where i thought he, were in this room and i half expected him to I said appear in this one with hello fresh that was last week dude that was so kit. funny Get easy seasonal recipes and pre-measured ingredients delivered right to your door all you have to do is cook and enjoy i wonder if hello fresh loves that simple. but i know what you're thinking because now i have the power of telepathy if we are to make this world a better place we must first start with our own sins. But also, can I say goodbye to endless grocery store trips and takeout food? Yes. HelloFresh has you covered. Which is Here very important because it, it like is magic expensive. will lay before you to better represent my presentation. HelloFresh makes cooking delicious meals at I home cooked a reality, my prep last regardless night. It's of your been comfort in crazy. the kitchen. You can make deliciousness part of your every week. There's something for everyone, from family recipes to calorie smart and vegetarian, and fun menu series like Hall of Fame and Kraft Burgers. HelloFresh is flexible and fits your lifestyle. Easily change your delivery days, food preferences, and skip a week whenever you need. But let me open up to you hopeful person that will maybe purchase this product of which I speak I am NOT a good cook there I said it! but hello fresh's instructions cooking. are so easy and so simple even I can make delicious meals and alter them as I see fit not now kitty Aww. I must tell the people Amuse about hello cat. fresh my personal favorite is the cranberry Yo, apple pork plate. chop I get it all the time how would you know if that Look plate that. is dirty it's amazing it tastes amazing I made that and I can't cook but I can now thanks to hello fresh please prepare yourself in this moment for an amazing offer uh, yeah. Okay, go. For $80 <laughs> off your first month of HelloFresh, go to month? HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia9 and enter Nostalgia9. I mean, if you do the this math, if you budget correctly and think about it, it's probably Hello Fresh. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia9 and enter Nostalgia9. It's like getting $20 off your first like, month of HelloFresh. I'm just like, I'll boxes. eat the same thing Life over and over and over and over again. Fresh. Happier, smarter. Fresher. Hello Fresh, I love you. Even though you are a company that cannot physically be loved. But I will still verbally represent this because it is poetically beautiful and true. This is the end of you looking at me right now. Goodbye. For $80 off your first month of Hello Fresh, go to HelloFresh.com slash Nostalgia9 and enter. Why is nostalgia it Nostalgia9? Nine. Why 9? Why 9? That's, that's so random. Hey everybody, you can see oh. us at Grand Rapids Comic Con in Michigan, November 8th uh. to the 10th. And 2019. you can also see us on Twitch Monday through Friday now. Every one of those days we're streaming. We love I need a live stream here in about 34 so minutes. And hopefully we'll see you there. I gotta finish this video. Now I record a Dougie video. I think I'm gonna be late to my stream. It's okay. So Batman has a plan to use the Mother Box to bring Superman back to life. As he feels he's the missing key to defeating Steppenwolf. Superman is I thought Lois Lane was the key. What state he's in. Don't you bat explain to me. Superman was a beacon to the world. That's why a lot of the world feared him, and I tried to kill him. So Party City somehow sneaks into this high security base, and they dig up Superman, but make fist bumps. How are you? How is Superman's creepy. grave not okay. protected? We're not ready for racially charged. I'm glad we all agree that Justice League grave robbing is cute. They use the technology to bring him back to life. Um, did they just invent Superman lives immortality God, that would have made this more fun No, I mean he's resurrected but with his memories all screwed up So he sees the Justice League as a threat to be fair. It would be scary <laughs> And they said they'd never make a sequel to Brightburn ah, He's fast what does it say when the best part of a $300 million superhero movie is an eye turn? <laughs> Wait, that's supposed to be the best part? Dude. I know you. You resurrected me with the shitty upper lip. 
Clark. His real name's Clark. God, yeah, to did you just reveal you Superman's suck at keeping identity? identities? <sighs> the Lois arrives, oh, hopefully okay, knocking bye. some sense into his brain, or at least into his shorts, while Steppenwolf steals the final mother box, which they left totally unguarded. Ugh, Batman, yeah. what are you doing? Ooh, something is definitely bleeding. Thanks, Joss. Guys, I've done it. I found the perfect way to make you see the genius of this movie. I brought back Cinemassacre as a pissed off super mecha death cry. Oh. oh. See, isn't that okay. awesome? Okay. Mm, I guess it's awesome. But it's not really epic. What? Uh, How? We knew he was gonna come back anyway. Yeah. He's not really furthering anything. If anything, it kind of just slows stuff down. It, it's awesome, so it's awesomely epic. Is it? Oh, come on. Did anybody it's not expect Superman to be in it? Was he not in any of the trailers? Everybody loves me, buddy. That's right. Again, I'm so sorry. Okay, I'll be over here then. Okay. Oh, okay. That's definitely not what the outside looks like, but. Sure. Yeah, the studio didn't have enough holes. Kind of like this movie. Ding! Superman takes Lois to the farm, where it's always permanently magic hour o'clock, when after the, coming back from the dead, this is what they have to say to each other. He smelled good. He was dead. Did I not before? <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, Joss. Don't worry, it gets strange. Why are they in a cornfield? What was it like? Coming back? Itchy. Okay, seriously, did a preschool write this? You smell good. Did I nap before? What was it like coming back? Itchy. <laughs> Here's a Zen riddle. What's flatter in this scene? The green screen or his acting? Just got out of a wooden box. Oh, yeah. I mean, honestly, weird in so many ways. This is nice. I do hope that they include Steppenwolf nuking the world in the background. Does Their he? ignoring of Armageddon just shows how much they're in love. Okay. You called mom. You do have better chemistry with her than Lois. <laughs> the team gets ready to take him on, but not before Aquaman reveals some embarrassing secrets. About well, what? You're gorgeous and fierce. And hey, you know what? I don't want to die. Maybe I'm scared because... Uh. Hey, screw it. Let's keep oh. it going. Game of Thrones is overrated. Bad Batch is underrated. There aren't enough jokes about me being in Stargate Atlantis. And I banged Nicole Kidman. But she likes to say she banged me. Something many people have okay. noticed is the climax that is. of this movie changed from having a darker gray sky to a neon red sky. What do they think this is? Batman the animated series? Actually, he is animated for most of this. It checks out. <laughs> Even when they get off the plane, the color correction goes from steel blue to Garfield orange. Honestly, it matches the inconsistencies for the rest of the climate. Yeah, why did why they change the color? Parademons that are supposed to be scary, but also Nickelodeon slime is their blood. Don't oh. forget how they're focusing mainly on this one family, but suddenly it's revealed there's more to be saved, even though we never see them. What are you talking about? There's some in that corner of the screen? There's uh -huh. some in that corner of the screen? At least in Man of Steel, we can clearly see who's being ignored. Uh, so <laughs> all the people. A super wow. fan of the wind really condition? I he was going to sit this one out. Hey, at least it earned one of the most awkward Batman faces ever given. Hmm. Why, why is he making that, that face? face? goes here. Really? It goes Quite there? The reason the climax feels so empty, I mean, apart it's from everything knew how it was set gonna up go. backwards, is the CG is not only fake, but also cluttered. Because this is an alien design, it's hard to keep up with what we're looking at. Avengers, an mm. amazingly cheaper movie to make, didn't always have convincing effects, but it was in a location we all recognize and well lit. This is so we're not always asking, are we on a building, in a building, far away, or really close? That's Everything actually really good. I never noticed that. Bright at the same time. That, that's With the thing heavy shadows for a darker makes a difference. But a lighter background given instead. Even the colors look really rushed. I mean, I know it's gonna sound weird, but with the obvious green screen fake effects and turned up colors. It kind of looks like one of my reviews. <laughs> the greatest combination of heroes should not look like a review show I put together in a week. In a week? Oh no. Hey look, the Batman v Superman poster. Thanks, Justice League. Sure. Seven How'd Superman defeated, die? The mother box is separated, Flash does his Jeff Goldblum pose, and Cyborg says booyah. Booyah. 
<laughs> That's gonna be my thing and my move. And my video's late. <sighs> hey, thanks, Superman 4! The day is saved as the oh, town turns okay. into the ending of Princess Mononoke, and the team decide they need a headquarters for I future just... sequels. Big round table. Six chairs. Right there. But room for more. Though you and Superman might look a little different. Uh, this is a crime scene. Oh. Is there no damn police tape? Also, oh, how does the yeah, lasso of truth Flash racing effect? Okay. They'll tell you who wins in the sequel. Like, and even laws. Pipsqueak Luther and has a cameo after the Like credits. the Fifth Amendment. He and his odd little friends are forming some sort of league. Shouldn't we have a league of our own? A league of villains? Out. 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 Wow. So, what did you guys think? Wow. That did not hold up as well as I remember. And I remember it only being okay at best. But come on, guys. For a movie that's seven years old, I Is think it it's really? allowed to show its age. It's only two years old. Huh, this movie's garbage. And there's only one thing left to be done. There's only one beacon of hope that can save the day. I said there's only one <laughs> beacon of hope that can save the day. Is it going to be Cinemasker? Oh. Oh, oh okay. G give me a second. Love Justice League. Yes. Even though the most popular of us had perished. You know we have more subscribers than all of you combined. He came back, saved the day, and most importantly, we <laughs> were so invested popular. every step of the way. By God, this oh. epicness was earned. Oh, that's actually fantastic news. You're fucking weird. Fucking weirdos. Ooh, okay. But I don't get it. How is blowing up Justice League saving Justice League? Because you don't want to be like this Justice League. Yeah, you want to be like this Justice Just League. Just find out or that. Or this Justice League. Or any of these. Stage one. What, the stuff you watch on TV? Not me. They don't even have a continuing story half the time. Exactly. And they're doing really damn good right now. Justice League didn't work because it was the end result of trying to do the same thing the MCU did, only darker and not as focused. Why are DC when movies always darker? DC shows Why? Movies had similar worlds and characters, but never one continual story. It would change up a little bit in each one. Hell, I can't even count how many times Superman died. That actually died in. has but that comic one book. Big one of the flag, I think. Because it was planning to tell one good story, not looking ahead to others. And those are the I've stories the movie. DC is doing best right now. The self contained ones. The ones that have as little it. connection as possible to the previous DC movies not only stand on their it. own, but they also allow the most variety. With cast members, time periods, and even styles constantly being switched around, DC may have more of a unique voice allowing exactly that, more unique voices. Justice League was two very different voices coming together to serve what felt like a corporate environment. DC movies now are feeling more individual, personal, and carrying more weight. Yeah, it sucks. We may never get that complete universe like what Marvel has, but this would I, allow DC to truly be something different. Why Maybe did they take this approach? The did they, were they trying Some to be like, well, we don't need to do Joker that because Marvel already did it. With several different yeah. actors. Or as the Joker says, If I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choices. While Justice League is nowhere near the worst superhero movie, it's a step away from the potential of what DC films could be giving us. Bottom line, if you want Justice League to thrive, continue to stop doing what Marvel is doing and keep doing what DC is doing. Huh. Yeah, come to our side. We could be deep, dark, and have money. And have audiences love you. That does sound nice, but... Did Cyborg ever get his own no. movie? Okay, By well. going that route, it means that Justice League was just a big sellout. It never had any real story, any real depth, and it'll never lead to me being in a movie ever again. So no, well, I then there was a Snyder you. cut. I will stand by the story that Justice League has started. Which we next week. I know nothing about it other than that's long. Cyborg, get your agent. Good news, baby. You got your own solo movie. <laughs> really? Without the Justice League. Hey. hey. Did he actually? Congrats. Now, the real question is, are you going to go with it, or are you going to stick with the integrity of the Justice League? <laughs> yeah, art means more when it pays more. About I'm it. the nostalgia critic. I'm the cinema snob. And, and we're, we're cinema, cinema sins. sins. DC future is gonna be weird. Let's just uh, hope that it's a good weird. Oh yeah. But <laughs> what was it like coming back? Itchy. Itchy. What in the world? 
Hey everybody, Doug Walker here. Uh, so this uh, is a charity shout out, kind of for another charity shout out. Uh, what? This is for uh, Twitch.tv slash Indie. They do this uh, stream from November 6th to November 18th. I don't know what to do in this situation. To raise money for Toys for Tots. Uh, and oh. they came to me and they were like, hey, you guys okay. want to be a part I'll of it? Well, we sadly had a little bit too fun. much going on, but I said I'd love to do a charity shout out for it. So uh, they've apparently been doing this for a while. So everything and, that this video makes uh, the first day will go to the spot. link. Uh, uh, in the description and they also have a really cool video uh, of them apparently like shopping around with toys for tots like the owner cool. of the channel goes and uh, you know sees like some of the stuff they do so it, it's a really cool idea and they just they they stream and they try to raise money uh, for I mean you know toys for tots I mean who doesn't uh, yeah. we, we've done toys for tots every times, every December uh, in the charity shout outs uh, but yeah they, they try to raise money for them and it sounds like a really cool fun idea and they do a lot of cool fun stuff so Definitely go check it out. Uh, look at the link. Check out Toys for Tots. Like I said, I mean, a lot of people know yeah, uh, who uh, they they've are. They've done the so many charity do, shout-outs so for take a look. Toys for Tots. And that's about it. See you next time. Take care. I get so many things in the mail and... Hey, why did I just throw up my mouth? Uh, it, so many emails and things in the mail. That's like my least favorite thing about donating to charities is that they have to have your phone number. They have to have your email address. They have to have your address. And they just send you so much stuff because I'm donating to so many different charities. They get so much stuff. My phone, I get so many calls from charities calling my phone. I guess maybe I could give them a fake number or a, an incorrect number. I I don't know if that would even be possible or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, no, that's, uh, that's something I deal with every single day. I get tons of emails, phone calls, and things in the mail sent to me. I'm like, save your money. Like, put it towards the charity. Stop... Spending money to, I mean, I guess people that are calling might be volunteers, but like to mail stuff out, like use the money towards the things. Like do that. D stop giving me trash. <laughs> like things I'm gonna throw away. Uh, but oh man, this is the Justice League. The and the the Snyder Cut will be next week. It came out a month ago. Uh, there's a first viewing. I've actually done what two first viewing videos, which I might do more of those in the future. It's cool that he had Cinema Sins and uh, Cinema Snob in here. Uh, Cinema Massacre made an appearance, which I'm guessing Cinema Massacre is Angry Video Game Nerd. I might be completely wrong about that though. But like I said, shout out to the patrons. They got all the videos there early. Couldn't do this if it was not for them. I look forward to reading all your comments. Leave some down below. But until next video, take care and keep the music.